Economic Forum's India Summit in the national capital. A whole host of top government officials as well as corporate leaders were in attendance. CNBC TV 18 wraps up the action. The second day of World Economic Forum's National Strategy Day started with Finance Minister Arun Jaitley's address where he talked about the government's push for GST as well as the bankruptcy court, which the government hopes to take up in the next session of the parliament. He also talked about uh, the cabinet approval, which is proposed uh, for a state discount package, which could happen in the next two days. Uh, last but not the least, he also pointed out towards this robust tax collection, especially on customs as well as on excise, which basically points out towards a strong recovery of the economy. I think GST is only a question of time. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's only a question of time. They can delay it by obstruction, but since obstructions don't continue indefinitely, uh, I think uh, as and when it's put to vote, uh, I see GST becoming a reality. We are going to have a comprehensive uh, structural solution uh, for the discounts, uh, which is what the Honorable Finance Minister uh, has spoken about. Uh, so let's wait and see how uh, the package uh, uh, is, uh, is, is fully detailed. The Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaya Naidu was here and he sounded quite optimistic saying that because the mood of the nation has changed since the monsoon session of Parliament, the winter session of Parliament should be successful and that the GST bill, the real estate regulator bill, the arbitration, the proposed arbitration law, the land bill, all of that should be passed. He in fact took a dig at the opposition and said maybe the Congress should show some tolerance and allow the Rajya Sabha to function. The mood of the nation is for development. People want development and uninterrupted development. They want the government and the opposition work together. These All these allegations, counter allegations, criticism, they are gone. That's part of democracy. One of corporate India's most senior members, Rahul Bajaj, believes that the government will have a tough time in the parliament to get its legislative business passed, but he believes that the NDA government will keep on pushing for its reform agenda in the parliament. I think the way I see Mr. Modi and the finance minister and others in the BJP, irrespective of whether they lose or win, the reforms will continue. Devendra Padnavis, the chief minister of Maharashtra, was also here. While he did speak about intolerance and said incidents like Dadri are isolated and should not be generalized to hurt the image of India, all foreign investors remain gungo about the country that given the slowdown in China, they have no option but to look at India as the next investment destination. In my conversation with him, me, uh, he also pointed out that the uh, bids for the um, Navi Mumbai airport, the RFP, uh, the bids for the RFP will be opened in the next two to three days that four companies have participated in that tender process. He also went on to tell me that in one month's time, he will unveil the new housing policy for the state of Maharashtra that has been ready, but he wanted to wait and see what the center's housing policy would be to make sure that his state and the center's housing policy are aligned. Today I also got a chance to catch up with Chandra Babu Naidu. He's quite uh, uh, excited that his state has actually come in at the number two position in the ease of doing business rankings that were unveiled recently, but went on to say he's targeting the top slot. On ease of doing business, we are number two. Mm -hmm. Next year we want to be number one. How will you do that? No, it is everything is possible by reorganizing everybody mm. and also positive disposal of things. Now we are very strong in all aspects. Even I, I want to compete international standards. We also met Amit Kalyani of the Kalyani Group, who told us about how his company has successfully tested howitzers uh, and how the company now also plans to supply components to the Indian Navy as well as the Indian Air Force. On the howitzer side, I think we've made a lot of progress. Uh, our uh, artillery is under testing, in fact, has undergone one round of firing testing, which it has performed very successfully. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And now it will be the next series of testing, which will be high altitude, long range testing. Uh -huh. Once that is complete, I think we will be in a far closer position to actually uh, provide a complete domestic solution to the Indian Armed Forces. So that's a wrap of the action from the uh, National Strategy Day of the World Economic.